Okay, so here we're getting some more practice with square roots. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult than our last video, but here the same basic principles will apply. So we're told to evaluate all of these. Now if you're doing this for homework, give the video a pause, try them out, and then check to see how I do it. Or watch along as I solve, and then compare, compare your work. But make sure you pause and, and think about what you're doing here. The goal is for you to master this topic. So the square root of 225 is the first question. Uh, I know it's equal to 15. Why? Well, because 15 squared is 225. So that works out nicely. So when I'm told to evaluate this, I'm trying to find, I guess you could say, the answer. Here, negative 2 square root of 225 means, well, that's equal to 15, but times negative 1, or negative 15. And just to recap, in this one, we could have also said uh, negative 15. Right, because negative 15 times negative 15 equals 225. But usually, and, and we'll be specific about this, and so will future teachers, uh, we're, they'll tell you if they're looking for both or just one. Here we're just looking for the, the positive root, if possible. So in this one, when we evaluate this fraction, you can think of this in two parts. The square root of 100 over the square root of 121. And uh, we can talk about in other videos why that makes sense. Here I'm just going through the process. So split it up in two. Square root of 100 is 10. Square root of 121 is 11, and that's our answer. In the last problem, they're asking us, if you take the square root of 50 and then multiply it by negative 1, is that between 8, is it bigger than 8, right? And is it less than negative 7? Is that true or false? Well, here's how we can figure it out. Well, the square root of 50, let's look at the positive version first, is between 7 squared, which is 49, and 8 squared, uh, right? Because 50 is between 7 squared and 8 squared. So square root of 50 is between 7 and 8. It's somewhere in between there. So if we reverse that process and multiply it by, by a negative value, whatever decimal it is, it's going to sit between, right, on the mirror side. So here's 7 and 8. And here's the square root of 50 sitting between them. Um, but we do it more accurately. It's definitely sitting much closer to 7 because 7 squared is 49, very close to 50. So when we flip that on the number line to, its, to their opposites, here's negative 7 and negative 8, this will also flip, so it's like right here. So the, the, the negative version of square root of 50 should sit right here. So yes, it's true, it's between 7 and 8. Alright, hope that helped.